Welcome to the exercises about data security and now we take the defense part. One means with respect to data security is passwords. We have talked about them and we discussed certain policies you uh, are aware of in basically each and every company. So let's discuss a few of them. How's about password must be changed every month? I don't like this policy. Experience, experiences have, sorry, experiments have shown that if you have and use this password policy and enforce it, that people tend to use uh, weak passwords which can easily be changed. For example, they take something plus 01 for January, 02 for February. It's much better to have a strong password but, and then you don't have to exchange it every month. Then it can, can it stay for years. Second policy. Passwords must have a minimum length of at least eight characters. Actually, this policy is quite old and it was good, let's say, in the 80s and 90s. But nowadays, computers have become much more performant. You remember the so, um, Moore's law. So, if your um, password, your hashed password, your encrypted password has been found, then eight characters will be cracked within a day. So, it's not really safe. You should at least have 12 characters nowadays, but better would be 20 or 30 characters. If you use um, a, a password safe, that's not really a problem to first generate it and then keep it in the password safe. Passwords must not be shared between persons. In principle, that's a good idea. But for example, if you share a Netflix account or if you have uh, something in, in common which you would really like to share, then of course it could be okay to share this uh, password as well. But you have to be very careful um, for which kind of uh, identities it makes sense and for which um, and which for which identities it does not make sense and would create any harm. Passwords must not be written down. Yes, in the first place that's okay. At least you should not write it down on a, on a piece of paper and keep it close to your computer. On the other hand, if write down means, for example, to keep it in a password safe, it's some kind of virtual writing down, then it is highly recommended to do so because then you don't have to remember it anymore which means you can use very long and very strong passwords. So writing down is not in the first place a bad idea. In combination with not keeping track and not really securing these notes where you have written down your password, then it's really a danger. Let's have a look on the following web page. It checks if emails have been pawned. That means if emails have been found and used and published by hackers. Let's have a look at the following web page. Have I been pawned? Basically, um, this web page brings together data from leaks which have been published. It's I'm not sure if all this data is available. There are similar web pages and web similar services. But for example, you can check here Trello accounts and you can then see from January 2024, there was some data um, grabbed. Uh, you can see 15 million email addresses, names, usernames, etc. were obtained. Or take another one you know, here from uh, Hasway accounts. You see in December 2023, hundreds of gigabytes of data taken from Indian ISP and digital TV provider, including IP addresses, um, names, phone numbers, password hashes, so the password have been hashed, and so on and so on. 
So yes, it seems to be that the um, data is quite fresh. Let's first check for my email address if this has been pawned. So if it has been used in some attacks, if it has been collected as a legal email address. So put it in and what you can see Oh no, it has been pawned. At least in four data breaches, it has been found and used. For example, if you would like to do this kind of uh, spam email things. And it's not a really a surprise because my email address is somehow official. You can go to the website of uh, the FA Aachen and you will find it listed with lots of other email addresses. So there's hardly any kind of protection against it. Either you would like to publish the address, but then some attackers can take this address as well and make use of it. Or it's a real private address, like for example your Gmail or Yahoo address, and uh, then it's really more private. I have tried out my private address here as well, and this was not used according to this web page. Let's have a look at passwords. And now I enter some simple passwords. For example, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can't see it, but this is what I've typed in. Yeah, and you can see it has been used 20, 42 million times. So you can really see it's a password which is often used. And let's make it a long one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. So I now have a password which is 10 digits long, 10 characters long, but still you can see it has been used 4 million times. So you can see these kind of passwords are not really safe.